In this video, I'm going to explain how you can crack the five or six market calculation question at GCSE by following the simple guess sum routine. I'm going to use this example question to go through the routine. The first step is to write out all the information which you're given, which in this case is that the time is two minutes, the potential difference is 12 volts, and that the energy is 1.8 kilojoules. Next, I should write out what I'm asked to calculate, or the unknown, which in this case is the current. Next, I must check the units and make sure that everything is in standard units, and unless they are kilograms, any prefix should be removed. So, two minutes is not in the standard unit, I need to change that into seconds by multiplying by 60, which will give me 120 seconds. 12 volts is in the correct unit. 1.8 kilojoules has got a prefix of killer, which means times 10 to the 3. So my energy is 1.8 times 10 to the 3, or 1,800 joules. The good news is that those unit conversions will have got me a method mark. The next step is to look for an equation that might help us to calculate the unknown of current. Now with a 6 marker, you're generally going to end up having to use two equations. Don't worry about that for the moment, but look for an equation which has got current in it and at least one of these other quantities. Often there's more than one route that you can take through. I found the equation power equals potential difference times current, which I've written in symbols. Now, if we check, we know potential difference. Current is the thing that we're trying to find. But we have a problem at the moment because we don't know the power which we would need to know in order to calculate the current using this equation. So at this point, we need to hunt for another equation from the equation sheet which will allow us to calculate power using any of the things that we haven't used so far. And then once we've got power, we can come back to this equation and work out the current. So once again, I look through the equation sheet and I haven't used energy and time, and I'm looking for an equation that would let me calculate power, and I find that power equals energy transferred divided by time looks promising. Because I know energy transferred and I know time, so if I calculate power with this equation, then I'll be able to use that first equation of power equals potential difference times current to get the current. So let's substitute into this power equals energy transferred divided by time. And instead of energy, I'm going to substitute in my 1,800 joules. And instead of time, I'm going to substitute in 120 seconds. I can now put that into my calculator and get power equals 15 watts. You don't need to write the unit, but for correctness I have. The good news is that that substitution and calculating the power as 15 watts will have got me a couple more method marks. Now that I know the power, I can go back to that power equals potential difference times current, and I can substitute into that. So instead of power, I'm going to replace that with the 15 watts that I've just calculated. Instead of the potential difference, I'm going to replace that with 12. And the current I leave as a symbol because that's what I'm trying to find. Good news, that has got me another method mark. Now I need to try and solve this. And I'm told that 12 times the thing that I want is 15. And therefore, the thing that I want is going to be the current is equal to 15 divided by 12. And the good news, that will get us another method mark. Now we need to make sure that we convert that into a decimal, which is 1.25. Now, for significant figures, since the data in this question was to two significant figures, I'm going to round that to be 1.3, because the last number that I'm not keeping is five or more, so I need to round up the last number that I'm keeping to give me 1.3. And finally, I'm going to add the units which for current is a capital A or amps. And that final answer gets me the last of the six marks. So let's finish by looking at the critical steps to solving one of these six marker questions. 
So you've got to make sure that you write everything down and put it in the right units. Then you look for an equation, in my case I chose power is potential difference times current, that I think will get me the thing that I'm asked for in the end. But unfortunately then you discover that you're missing something, in this case power, and I go on the hunt on the equation sheet for another equation which might let me calculate that power using things that I haven't already used, in this case energy and time, and then once I've used that second equation to calculate the power, I can return to my first equation that I thought looked promising to get me the final answer and substitute in the thing that I now know of power and I knew the potential difference so I can find the current. And this method can help you to puzzle through more or less any six mark calculation question. One final tip, if you've written this out and you really can't find an equation that you think is going to help, then look for any equation which you can calculate something with. So look for any equation which you could calculate something with using all these quantities. Because it's quite likely that you would home in on something like this power equals energy transferred divided by time, which would then pick you up some method marks. So in all cases, avoid writing nothing. If in doubt, choose an equation that you can calculate something new with, and hopefully that will get you some method marks. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful.